Boys, right into this. What have you guys been watching? I'll start us off. So I've been watching uh, Catch Twenty Two on Hulu. It was recommended to me by my dad, and it's it takes place during World War Two. Uh, it's a bunch of guys who basically have to fly a bunch of missions, um, and they, these just a hole generals keep upping up the missions. Uh, George Clooney's in it. He's actually a big producer and director with this, and then Kyle Chandler from Friday Night Lights and a bunch of other stuff too. Uh, he's in it. He's awesome. He just plays a real dick. And, uh, and so these guys trying to figure out how do we get home? Like, how do we like survive all these missions and like still survive here? Um, it's got humor. Like, obviously there's drama, like any wartime thing does. Um, I mean, it's got it all suspense, everything. So I, I definitely give it a watch. Only six episodes. Um, I don't know. I think it's based on a novel. So it's a, it's a quick watch. Yeah. So I've watched four out of the six so far. I'm going to try to finish it off tomorrow, but yeah, it's a great show. I, I definitely recommend that one. Would you say that was called gamer? Uh, Catch twenty two. Catch twenty two. Right. I finally got around and watched Parasite, the movie that won uh, Film of the Year, and it was fantastic. Um, now I will make sure I point out that it did. It was all in Korean, um, so you had to read uh, subtitles the whole time. See ya. So I'm telling you, I thought the same thing, and it was one of the coolest movies I've ever watched. The cinematography was. Insane. I completely understand why this one movie of the year, the it's, concept behind it was awesome. It's a lot and of work. You thought that I thought it was going a different direction. And like, I didn't really read anything on it. A lot of times I'll pull like Wikipedia pages up and like follow along. And I just didn't want to read anything. And it took a really crazy ass turn. And it was a great, great movie. And the ending was fantastic. Like I said, I don't usually recognize like things like cinematography, but like it was just <laughs> shot so well. Um, and it was just very, very well done. It's on Hulu now, so um, if you don't mind reading for two hours straight, it's a <laughs> Unfortunately, really Unfortunately, really I think I do. Um, so I saw a big <laughs> argument. It's not a big argument, but it was like this picture, and it was a basketball, like a basketball team, and it was Friends versus The Office. So I am going back, and I'm watching saw that. all of The Office and all of Friends because I have them both on DVD. So I'm going to go back, and I'm going to make a fair – assessment i think i'm pretty sure i already know what's gonna win in my mind um but i'm gonna go back and rewatch that because uh, it's something i can watch on like i said i said i got this little dvd player here i'm not gonna get like super into it but i'm gonna try and watch all of them and then just kind of make some content out of it and see what goes from there but i think that's kind of a, a weird debate I, d I don't know i don't see them being like comparable shows in a way like they're two no. different shows no. but i think that's kind of a, a but if you had to if you had to, what's, what's, your, Before, what's your pick right now? The Office. Before, yeah, office. but see, yes. that's not fair because I like both shows and you don't like both shows. So uh, coming from – No, I'm just thinking logistically like Chandler, he'd be useless because he, he rips sticks no, we're all not the time. About, I'm not talking about a real basketball um, the, game. I'm talking about like show for show. This isn't like – Oh, I'm talking, no, about I'm talking like the, the, the both picture. Both on The Office. Yeah. Yeah, I'd but if, for like show for show, I would take The Office right now. But I, I am a yeah, fan of both shows. I don't think Friends no. is a bad show. So we'll, it's see. Just, we'll see at the end of this. Awesome. We're, maybe I'm swayed. Doesn't scratch me what? The Friends just doesn't scratch me where I itch. It's just not my thing. It's not it's the like best. It's, it's okay. I, I put it. Always, way of saying Joey's it. funny. Other than that, I didn't find anybody that funny. Phoebe was Joey kind of wants funny. to think about you. Joey and Chandler are funny. Dude. I will say there's Not like I know, it's a no saying. disgusting one for you to use because no one wants to think about that. Don't use your imagination, and that's your my fault, not mine. Is my imagination, dude. Uh, <laughs> anything else you guys have been watching? Like I said, I always throw this in Waco. I still think that's a good one. Um, you guys got anything else that you guys have kind of said before? I yeah, also I... go, go ahead, Gamer. All right, I'll go. So last night, actually, I watched uh, Snowpiercer um, with Chris Evans. Came out in 2013. Um, basically, it's like the world. I don't know if you guys have seen it, but all of the world's population is on a train that goes like around the world, like um, because it's in the second ice age. So uh, they're just trying to survive, and it's like built by class. Oh yeah, I so at the back, yeah, sure. and, um. and they're making a new TV show about it too coming out soon so uh that's a good watch good in it it makes you think a lot which i know for for both of you guys that's a lot to ask for to make you guys think but i can't uh, be good on that <laughs> but it's a, it's a good it's a good movie 
Uh, I watched the movie Biodome. Oh, it was Shore. Worst movie I've ever watched. That was horrible. Oh, that made me want to put my head in the wall. Yes. Uh, have you ever seen? And I'm all seen back to the army dumb now. Comedy. Yeah, that's, that's a, a pretty uh, good is, one. No, I'm the major. Thing. What's the other one that he did? So, what is Biodome? Biodome's two like stoner p- idiots in California get locked in this like science experiment in Arizona where they're trying to create a situation where they can create life outside of the outside of the Earth, and they're just idiots and just break everything, and <laughs> it's just not funny. It's the dumbest thing. The I've dumbest ever thing heard. is that Chance like, watched the whole so thing. So I'm all for like dumb, like Will Ferrell movies and stuff like like Sandler movies, but like the Pauly Shore and Stephen Baldwin just cannot play that part. Stephen Baldwin is an asswipe anyway. He's not funny at all. And Pauly Shore is a great accessory character, not a main character. We got Boomy the just, movie it, critic it, it, over here, yeah. but yeah, not that's. I've seen that movie. I've not been, a good um, movie. But I, watched I think Paulie Shore is, yeah, he's good in like in roles that like he doesn't have to lead the movie, like kind of just yeah. weird, eccentric characters. That, like I said, well, I forget yeah. the other one that I used to watch with him. I knew it was back to back to the army now, and then there's one other one I cannot remember. 